Hi, my name is Marty from Let's Build WP.com, also known as Let's Build WordPress, here on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing logo for your website or business using a 100% free to use website. The website we're going to be using today is called Logomaker.com, so if you just want to open up your internet browser and go to Logomaker.com. The word maker is spelt without the letter E, so it's L O G O M A K R.com. Or alternatively, you can just click the link below this video or the link that's on screen now. Either way, it's going to bring you to the first page of their website, which is this one, and you just want to click in the middle where it says click here to choose a logo. And that'll bring you to a full range of icons that you can use with your logo. You can change the color of these as well, and I'll cover how to do that in a moment. Before I do, I just want to show you that if you scroll down for a while, there are some icons available in color as well. Once you find an icon that you'd like to use for your logo, I'm going to use this one for an example. You can just double click it and that's going to bring you into the logo editor. So here you can just click and drag the icon around and you can also change the size of it. If you want to add more than one icon into your logo, you can just click here in the bottom left and then double click another one that you'd like to add. To remove an icon that you don't want or to remove something that you don't want to use, you can just click on the top left once it's selected and click the X. Then to add any text, you can just click the capital T in the bottom left and then type any text you want to appear. So for this example, I'm just going to type my new logo. And then to change the font of the writing, you can just click here at the bottom where it says fonts and then choose the font you'd like to use. There's quite a lot of them, so you can just go through them and choose what one you'd like. And once you do, you can just click and drag the text into position and also change the size. To change the color of any of the elements of your logo, you can just click on say the text or the icon and then on the bottom left, any of the colors that you're able to change will show up here. So say for example, we wanted to change this orange to be red we could just click and change it to red and then say we wanted the text to match the writing what we can also do is click onto the icon and then choose the red and then copy this code that appears in this box then if you click on the writing and click here in the bottom left you can replace these zeros with that code then when you do, it'll change so it all matches. Because that doesn't really look that great, I'm just going to change this to be darker. And I'm going to position it there. I'm actually also going to change the font because really I don't think this looks that great. I'm going to use this one instead. And once you're happy with everything, you can just highlight it all. You can click in the bottom right and change the size of the entire logo. And if you look in the bottom right, you'll see this is the size. Once you've got it the size you need it, you can just click in the bottom right where it shows the save icon. That'll automatically save it to your computer. And if you do need more than one size, you can click here where it says edit logo. That's going to bring you back again. You can just highlight it all. Say you needed a bigger one, you could just make it bigger. And then click the save icon again. And then that'll be saved to your computer as well. If you just read here, it says some or all elements in the logo you just created are owned by a third party under a Creative Commons license. This means you're free to use this logo for commercial purposes and to share or to modify it. In exchange, it's necessary to credit the following author or authors for the original creation. So sometimes there'll be one site here. At the minute, it's just Logo Maker. Sometimes there'll be more than one site depending on who supplied the icons or the font or whatever's been used in your logo. 
So you can use the logo any way you want. You just need to give credit to any of the sites that are listed here. By giving credit, all that means is you need to add a small link to them somewhere, stating that you give them partial credit for the creation of your logo. So now if we just open up the images, which will be saved to your download folder, we can preview the images, and there's our logo. Then there's the bigger one. And these are in backgroundless PNG format. And what that means is you can use these images on colored backgrounds, and there won't be any sort of white square or anything around them. It'll just be your logo cut out perfect. I do understand that this isn't the greatest logo in the world, but for the two minutes it took to create it, it's not that bad. If you spend maybe five or ten minutes, you can make a really decent logo for your website or business. If you found this video useful, please feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. My name's Marty from Let'sBuildWP.com and thank you very much for watching my video.